welcome back to the YouTube family. Today we're here at the Pearl Harbor Historic Site. It's another rainy day here in Hawaii. There's only four days that are not rainy in Hawaii. Four days? Which ones? I do not know. <laughs> Did you make that up? No. There's only four days that do not rain in Hawaii. While we were here? No, no, no. In the, in the year. What? How did you know this? Uh, I think YouTube. YouTube? Okay guys, we are now next to the Coning Tower and Periscope, so Dad's using a Periscope right behind me so you can see up like over the building. And then I'm going to go into the Coning Tower and show you what it's like. Okay guys, we're entering in. Ooh. We are inside the Coning Tower right now. There are a lot of different things going on in here. I would probably press the wrong button and something would go wrong if I had to control this tower. Here's another so periscope. So here you pop it down and that's the periscope. So what does the periscope do, Dad? So you can see outside the submarine. Oh yes. It's an optical lens. Look at all of these Whoa, different really? like oh, buttons and everything. Where's Ty? <laughs> Look, I was gonna go up this, up here but I think it's sealed <laughs> shut. Just maybe. So. <laughs> you can see everything that's inside of this little submarine tower. I don't really know. So this is a submarine rescue chamber, and what this happens is, is if a submarine is down on the bottom of the ocean. This can go down and attach the submarine and help get survivors out and bring them back up. This was only used one time, looks like back in 1939, and it was successful. Look how big that is! That's actually really cool. And it would rescue 33 people while they were like on the ocean floor. That is really cool. Okay guys, we are at the Road to War Gallery. <laughs> the pigeon! <laughs> the pigeon flew down at the same exact time. Little Tai Tai. Tai Tai's hair is blonder here in Hawaii. Like, I don't know what happened, but it like, became more bleached. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Tai's the only one in our family with blonde hair. It's crazy. Okay, guys, we're gonna try and break the code right here. So, this looks pretty hard. Okay, it's ready to go. I have no idea what you do. So, you have to decipher the message right here. Whoa. You? you? What? I feel like this would take a long time. Oh, so we need to put all of this in here and then it will decode it for us? Yep. Mm. So find out the hidden message. What does it say? Okay guys, we're headed to lunch now. And it stopped raining, but now it's really windy. <laughs> okay guys, so we got lunch and there were three options. You could either get nachos, a hot dog, or soup. So I got the nachos here. What'd you get? Nachos! I got a bowl of cheese. Cheese? <laughs> awesome! We're all hungry, so this is good. Ty is especially hungry. Yes, Ty. Ty was very hungry. Hi, huh, Ty. Okay, we're gonna go pearl diving and see what color of pearl we get. So there's black, lavender, pink, and white. And we have no idea what we're gonna get. What one do you want? Actually, I think I'd be happy with any of them. The black though is the most rare or the most desired one. Okay, so, so you're gonna get a black 10 millimeter perfect <laughs> condition pearl. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's dive. Oh okay, go diving. Dive deep. deep. The big ones are on the well, surface though. The uglier the better. Oh, the... Okay. Is that the one the you want? The lucky one? Sure. Okay, put it right there. Kay. So we're gonna do the Aloha ceremony, okay, to welcome your pearl. You're gonna use this Tap the oyster three times and say aloha. Yeah, okay. Okay, go for it. Aloha. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's see what color pearl you get, okay? So three to four years for it to form inside of the oyster. Inside of the shell is called the mother of pearl. That's what determines the color of your pearl. And you get a white one. Classic for beauty and hope. Right here. Hey guys, Papa wants to say something. That's a beauty and hope? Yes. That's a good one. Very pretty. And this is a real pearl. Hey Ty, pick an ugly one. Okay. Alright. Tap it three times. Tap it. And then three. Aloha. Oh, that's a real pink. Ooh. Hi. I don't want that color. How about pink though? That's a pink, yeah. Do you want Tyler. pierced or? Alright, 
right, Jordan, you're picking one? We're gonna go with this one. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, time for three times. One, two, three, aloha! Oh, look, you got a white one too. Oh, with a little pink hue to it. Hey. Yeah. Nana getting a pearl. Okay, put it right okay. there. This is the fun part, watching that pearl come out. So they seed them when they're about two. It takes four years for this guy to do. What'd you get? What'd you get? I'm gonna pull it out because I gotta be inside of there. Oh my gosh. Look at the size. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, grandma's getting a pearl. Yeah, so let me make the whole thing. Is it the uglier to show the better to pearl? What are you looking for? See if I can find one that will be different than everyone. The ones. black pearl? Ooh, Go the for the black one's pearl. Very rare. No, let's see. One. It's between these two. No, Which one are you going to get, Mom? Watch as you run Okay, let's see yeah. it. Alright, All right, Katie. The warranty would cover everything. So say if you use your pearl. Or the That's the one. Okay, one, this is it. Two, three, aloha! 12 millimeter black. Check it out. Basically, these and then everything else. Oh, yes! Oh, you got it! Nice! Look at that! Alright, Jake's getting it. Aloha! Oh, it's like blue on right there. Yeah, let's see what color this one is. Black! Black! Yeah! Very nice, Jake. Look at you, Jake. You can pick them. Nice. Wow, look at that. Wow. That's like blue, too. Good job, buddy. All right, we're on the shuttle boat. Yep. To head out to the USS Arizona. We just got done watching the film documentary, kind of getting us up to speed on everything that happened, kind of the history behind it, and now we're going to go actually out to see the memorial yeah. here at Pearl Harbor. Yep, and the ship is actually underneath the water, so when we're at the memorial, we're, we're going to be able to look down and see it underneath the water. So that is a battleship, what the U.S. Arizona would look like today if it were still here. It was super fun, really cool to see everything. Now we are in the car and we have an hour till our other luau that we're gonna go to. So yeah, we're just heading in that direction. <laughs> we are at the Paradise Cove Luau in line. Yeah. Can I have a black one? Cheers. We got some fruit punch. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Us three. Four. Oh. Five. <laughs> I keep missing it. Cheers, Ty. Ty, did you pick up yourself a treat? You got some shaved ice. Nice. Yummy. Jake, are you getting ice cream? I bought this bamboo harmonica at the gift shop. You want to listen to it? <laughs> yes! I've got a recorder! 
are you ready for this action? We're spear throwing at targets. So this is a game where you have to chuck the rock and the stick, if this is a stick, through the two poles. And it's kind of like bowling. So you have to like swing your arm back and let it slide through it. And this it's pretty hard actually. I could get it through I could get the rock through it, but not this. First meal of the luau. Yeah. We've got a variety of lots yeah. of different salads. Yeah. What was the uh, purple? Koi. Koi? <laughs> what are you doing? You know, playing tomatoes. <laughs> Ty's obsessed with the tomatoes, so he's gonna get a plate of them. That's Ty's favorite vegetable. Ty the tomato man. That's the potatoes. Oh, yes. I like the mini ones. He likes yeah. cucumbers too. He just likes vegetables. It started raining! Oh no! Luckily it's just sprinkling right now. Hopefully it goes away. But Ty's main concern was, oh no, my tomatoes are gonna be soggy. <laughs> tomatoes don't go soggy. <laughs> <laughs> they like water. <laughs> it's only protecting. supposed to be cloudy. It's not supposed to be raining on us right now. This is wrong. Because that's wet. And it's falling on us. No. At least you have a hat. I have this to protect me. Oh, I have a hat. It's raining, and everybody. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Good thing it's uh, outdoors in the rain. Audrey, where's your hat? Jake's down there underneath the tarp. Uh, Grandpa's trying to figure out how to put it on. Nana gave up. This is funny. 400 people trying to put on plastic. <laughs> what do you think? Now it just needs to start blowing really hard. I'm just getting a refill. Okay, nice. How you doing, Hawaii? Ty, did you get your plate of tomatoes? Show us. Paradise Cove. What did you think, Audrey? It was amazing. <laughs> My favorite part was the spokes lady. The MC lady. <laughs> no, Aloha. <laughs> I don't know if we recorded her. She was 
funny. <laughs> she was she really was funny. She used a lot of hand motions and she would lift her calm deep voice. Now give it a hand up for this next performance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. Who's your favorite? I would say Audrey okay. was shoot up and was hula oh, dancing. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Audrey the hula dancer. And to the left, one more time. To the right, and to the left, two thumbs up. My favorite part was the hostess as well because I just like the part where she's trying to get us to all like get to know each other and she went, extend! <laughs> okay so boys, funny. what'd you think of that one? The best one was Audrey. The oh, fire dance was really cool. I liked the fire dance. The fire dancer? <laughs> Grandma? Audrey was fantastic! <laughs> Audrey's the winner of the show, apparently! I am the winner! <laughs> she is the queen! Okay, so what is your opinion between the Polynesian Cultural Center Luau and the Paradise Cove Luau? Which one would you choose if you could only go to one? I think if you take the Polynesian Cultural Center like show and replace the host with the <laughs> I found more entertainment in that one. Yeah, I agree. I think the Polynesian Cultural Center had an overall better show. I actually liked the grounds that it was on. I felt like it was really pretty to look at. Yeah. And it had the different um, cultures there to so that you could see kind of what they were. You could learn about them and try on different or try different activities at them, which I found fun. So I think overall the Polynesian Cultural Center is a better luau to attend. Yes. But if you can only go to one. If it rains here, you get free ponchos. Uh, well, we got free ponchos from the Polynesian yeah, Cultural Center did. too. Yeah, it's true. The I liked the Polynesian just because it was covered, it was easier. Well, and every activity had benches where you could sit. Yeah. yeah. It was, I feel it was more organized and I honestly think that, um, I think at the Polynesian Cultural Center the dancers actually were a little bit more precise yeah. and their movements were smoother. So I felt like they had more training and more practice and I kind of liked their costumes better. Yeah, me too. Yes. <laughs> That's what I, I just think it was very well put together at the Pol Polynesian Cultural Center. Not that this one was not enjoyable. This was enjoyable, <laughs> but the other was just like, they practiced and rehearsed. It was, really it was very well put together. And yeah, these are better. Not real. Yeah, and here the beads are plastic. At the other one, they were real. <laughs> True. It's all the little touches. <laughs> so, we all agree, Polynesian Cultural Center, we're glad we got to see both though. Yeah, yeah, both were really fun. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn from Road to Grey and... Hit the bell. <laughs> Hit the bell. We'll see you guys next time.